order to find peer-reviewed journal articles in our library, you'll need to use the psychology-specific database called PsycInfo. What is PsycInfo? Let's take a brief look at how the library databases work before we actually start searching. You know now the difference between search engines and databases. There's one more thing that I want to explain before we actually start searching a database. And that is that databases, generally speaking, are actually organized by subject area. So there are different databases in the library for different things. For example, there's going to be a different database for chemistry than there is for music, than there is for um, English Lit, than there is for psychology. So when you go into the library, what you're going to find is lots and lots and lots of different databases that you could potentially try, and they all have different things in them. They have all had different researchers, different academic writers contributing to them um, through the journals, and then the articles from the journals get put into the databases in a categorized way. So for example, let's say that this article was from someone that was working in English Lit. It's going to go in there. This article was from someone in chemistry, so it's going to go into that database. This article is about music, so it goes into that one. And then you have all of your articles that are about psychology, and they go into the psychology databases. The psychology database that we already talked about that you're going to be using is PsycInfo. So now let's look at a quick screencast on how to actually get into PsycInfo from the CAPU library website. When I need to get to the library website, I usually start from Google and I just search for Capilano Library. Our website should be one of the first results that comes up and um, as you can see, here it is. So you can just go ahead and click there and this is what our website looks like. Sometimes our website's look will change, either the colors will change or the images that you'll see at the top will change, but for the most part, when you want to get to a database, what you're going to do is look at the main center of the screen and look for a box or a link that says databases. So here it is, and you can go ahead and click there. And you can see that, just like I explained, um, when databases are organized by subject area, we've got this drop-down box that allows you to pick a subject that you want to study or that you want to um, investigate for your research. And uh, you could pick one of these, and it would show you all of the databases that we have in that area. But since we know that we specifically want the database that's called PsycInfo, we can actually go to this alphabetical section and just pick P to get a list of all the databases that start with P. And if we scroll down, here it is, PsycInfo. So what you want to do is click on the Connect button, and you will probably be asked to use your uh, login and password, the same one that you would use for your email or to access Moodle if you're doing this from a, your laptop or from home. It let me in automatically because I'm doing it from a CAPU computer. And this is what PsycInfo looks like. It uh, has these different search boxes and all these diff different options down here and we're going to be explore those in the next video. Now you know how library databases work and how to get to PsycInfo on our library website. Before we move on to the next video, we have a couple of activities for you to complete for practice. After that, I'll be back to show you the next steps.